Hello everybody, it's Temptress here. Welcome back to Virtue's Last Reward. Where we last last I can English. Last bleh, where we last left off, we did Alice's end. And we just jumped to another ending, possibly. Um We jumped over here from over here. Because this is also bomb related, like who planted the bomb. We know who planted the bomb now. It was Dio. Okay, we got the deactivation code for bomb number three. Does it tell us? Like, we got bomb zero deactivation code. And then. Find the two. Okay, we got the key. We got a code to this one, okay? Okay, what about down here? I'm not gonna lie, Tim Yoji's little area is a little lame. Okay. Uh, don't know about that ending. Uh, Clover's ending is also lame. So we got zero and three so far for the bomb. So we probably can't do this one yet. No wait, we we just got an ending. Um It should be here. We got the deactivation code from Hold on. I'm gonna jump real quick. Oh, there we go. Bomb number one deactivation code. So we got zero, one, and three. We need two. Okay. <laughs> Goodbye. Huh? Person is you, Dio. Come on, what is this? Are you high? Oh, that was kind of... hold on. No, no, not, not save. I'm gonna do that again, but it, I want it to be, like, better than that. Okay. I know who set the bombs. I wanted to... I wanted it to look better, you know? That person. That person is you, Dio! Come on, what is this? Are you high? Well, we're about to find out. Sorry, Kay, but could you hold him down? Uh, uh, well... It's on him. I pro it's on him, I promise. Knock it off, Sigma! You're doing this all backwards. So? This isn't a court. Besides, all we want to know is who set the bomb. Yeah. And why are you getting so worked up anyway? If you're innocent, then the search will show that and I'll look like an idiot. Nice try, but that's some bullshit totalitarian logic. I don't think so. What are you even basing this on? How do you know I set the bombs? Because... Spit it out! I know about the Myrmidons. The Myrmidons? What? The Myrmidons. Beg your pardon? No. How do you know that, Sigma? Oh, that's not all I know. I know about Free the Soul, and I know about Brother. What the hell are you talking about? I can tell you the details later. But there's no question that you were the one who set up the bombs. Who the fuck do you think you are? None of that has anything to do with me. I don't know who the Myrmidons are. And I don't know what Free the Soul is. And I certainly don't know anything about some old fart called Brother. Huh. Oh, Gio. Tell me, 
How does that foot taste? Who the Myrmidons are? I don't recall saying the Myrmidons were people. And what about brother? How would you know his age if I hadn't said anything besides his name? Uh. Wait, so he's left? But, but that means he's a terrorist. A terrorist? Oh dear. Left? <laughs> well, looks like I won't be able to talk my way out of this one. <laughs> you, well, you kind of talked your way into it further. Seriously, though, when did we get so famous? The Myrmidons aren't supposed to be something anybody knows about, let alone you two jokers. Okay, you got me. Yes, I'm the leader of the Myrmidons. Oh, I know. My real name is Left. I was sent here to stop Zero Senior's AB plan. That's why I planted the bombs. If it looked like the plan might actually succeed, I was supposed to blow this whole place sky high. AB plan? What's that? Oh, oh. well, looks like you don't know everything after all. I should have been more careful. Then again, it's not like it really matters. After all, you're gonna die here. What? Oh, that's not very nice to say. God damn it, no! I love toward him. Well, there. <laughs> Better not come any closer. You think I'm not prepared for this? Take one step and it'll be your last. Then, that thing you're holding. It's the detonator. Yeah, I guess it is. Now back the fuck off! Dio, please calm down! If you press that button, you'll die too! So? You don't care. Believe me, there's plenty more where this came from. Well, what? Now that we've cleared that up, back off! Come on, move it! Go, go, go! I hope we're not on any time constraints. We had no choice. Slowly, carefully, we backed away. All of us except for one. Ten Yoji. Hey! Grandpa, you're here and gone. I said back off. No. <sighs> you. I'm not screwing around here. I can see that. So why don't you do it? Go ahead. Press that button. What? Miyoji? Something wrong? Hurry it up. I'm not getting any younger. Oh. Do I sense hesitation? What's the matter, Dio? Scared. Well, <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> so you were just bluffing. I'm not bluffing, goddammit. You hear me? I'll do it. Oh, I'm sure you will. But there's really something I should tell you. See that detonator you're holding? It's a fake. What? For just an instant, Dio's eyes twitched down to the device in his hand. That was all the opening Temyoji needed. Yeah! He cried out as he leapt through the air. Temyoji's leg shot out, knocking the detonator from Dio's hand. Shit. Not good. What happened? The detonator. He doesn't have it anymore. What? W what's happening? There's a red light on it now. <laughs> oh, you really fucked up, Tenmyoji. This is what happens when you try to show off. What? I'm sorry. This is my fault. I didn't have time to tell you how it worked. What are you saying? The detonator isn't supposed to be separated from Dio. If it is, then the timer on the bombs automatically activates. Damn. How much do you know? Fine, whatever. Well, he's right. If that thing ever gets more than a meter away from me, it activates. When it does, it starts the timers on all the bombs. So thanks to this old fart, you get to try and defuse a bunch of activated bombs on a countdown. You can go ahead and destroy the detonator if you want. Once the timers have been activated, they'll go off anyway. How long do we have? When do they explode? You should know, Sigma. Why don't you tell her? 30 minutes. Th 30 minutes? That's crazy! 
Yeah. How do we stop them? The emergency ID deactivation path. None of us know them now. Right. None of us know. But there's someone who does, isn't there? <laughs> what? Hoping I might spill the beans? Nice Is Alice still alive in this one? Unless one of you is secretly a medium, I think you're shit out of luck. Wait, a medium? <laughs> well, I'm out. Peace. Wait, stop. I threw myself toward Dio and wrapped my hand around his wrist, slamming it into the floor. He struggled, but I put all my weight on it and kept his arm pinned. Shit! Let go of me, goddammit! Get off of me! Let me go! No. He continued to struggle, but I wasn't going to let him go. I shifted my weight to free one of my hands and started trying to pry his open. Hey! Hey! I'm not fucking around, alright? Let go of my goddamn arm! By then, the others had run over and piled on the Dio along with me. Even then, he refused to stop. With increasing desperation, he tried to get the hand I had grabbed to his mouth. We don't have a choice. Luna, go get the Soparil. No. If we put him to sleep, we can't get what we need out of him. You think I don't know that? What other choice do we have? Every minute we spend wrestling this prick is a minute we don't have to deal with those bombs. We don't have time for this. Ugh. What are Shit. you doing, Luna? Go! Right! Okay, I've got it. I'm ready when you are. You can do whatever you want to me, you fucking cowards! You're still gonna die! Go ahead. Tell yourselves you can fix it. Run around like idiots before you get blown to atoms. Serves you fucking right. You're gonna burn! Oh, for God's sake. Luna, shut him up. Right. Here goes. Whew. Well, how are we now going to deactivate it? We don't have the second, f the one for the second bomb. As I began to climb off of him, I finally pried Dio's hand open. There it was, just what I'd expected. Small, unassuming capsule. Didn't know what it was in it but exactly, but it was undoubtedly some kind of poison. I stumbled toward the sink and tossed it into the drain. How much time do we have left? 25 minutes or so, I believe. And how much time until the white doors open? 25 minutes, the same. So, what do we do? We put in the password and stop the bombs. We searched Dio, but he doesn't have a note or anything with the codes on it. Hmm. Well, only one option left then. Yeah, and that is? Intuition. We trust our hunches. That's... Are you suggesting we just... guess? Do you have a better idea? Well, no, but... Wait, there's another way. What is it? Before I can tell you, everyone has to promise to do exactly as I say. No questions. What's your answer? We all nodded. Good. First of all, Sigma, you're coming with me. The right. rest of you, listen up. I want you to take Alice, Clark, and Dio to the Floor B warehouse. Huh? Why? Didn't I say no questions? Good. That's it. We're done. That's... it? Is there a problem? I seem to recall you promised to do exactly what I told you to do. Yep. <laughs> okay. We don't have much time. Now get moving. Sigma, you're with me. Phi turned without wa waiting and headed for the door. I was gonna say warning. Before I could blink, she was gone. I gave everyone else in the infirmary a quick thumbs up and a shaky smile. Take care of these guys, okay? We'll see you back on floor B before you know it. So, just trust us, alright? Good. I couldn't think of anything else to say. I turned and ran after Phi.
Oh, yeah, the one in the tree for <laughs> What do we do? Get the input device ready. All right, done. All hooked up and everything. How many minutes do we have left? Well, we'll go off when the door's open, so... 21 minutes. That means we have seven minutes per bomb. That includes travel time, though. Bomb number two is in the control room on floor B. Bomb number one is, uh, is also on floor B with the garden. So, um, ugh. We just need to hurry, right? Yeah. So what are we supposed to do? I mean, you have to do... Yeah, you do have some sort of plan, right? Well, it's not like I don't have one. Then stop being so mysterious and tell me. What the hell am I supposed to do? You need to make a jump. Yeah. Jump? To another world. Another history. I can't. You didn't just guess that Dio set the bombs, did you? You knew it. Because you remembered it happening in another history, didn't you? Mm hmm yeah. I did, but that's, I mean... You just have to do that again. So you're saying I need to go to another history and get the password out of Dio somehow? Doesn't have to be another one. It could be this one. Just go back to the past and question him. Then again, if you do that, you might end up changing things so you don't end up here. That would mean you couldn't deactivate the bombs in this history. So you have to come back to this exact moment, or... Ugh. Damn it. This is so confusing. Well, don't think about it then. We don't have time anyway. Just jump! Okay, okay, I get it. See you later then. Are you insane? You're talking about transporting myself across space and time! Also, why should I have to do everything? Can't you jump too? My jumps happen suddenly, out of the blue. I can't control them. Neither can I. Mm, that's a problem. Alright, consider this. Maybe we've already jumped from another history to this one. But our memories of that history got damaged or something. We forgot most of what happened in that other timeline. If we can remember even a little bit, though... Anyway, it's just a hypothesis. Are you saying I might know it already? And I just have to try and remember it? Yeah, I just... I feel like we know. So? Anything? We need the bomb password. Do you remember hearing it in another timeline? I stared down at the input device. Password, password... Bomb password. Actually, I did remember it. I had heard it. Not for the second bomb, though. Uh... Um... tried over and over, but it was no good. Guess Each guess was wrong. No matter how I strained my memory, I couldn't remember even a letter of the bomb's password. Had I even seen or heard it anywhere in the first place? Okay. I'd seen other histories, but had I seen what I needed? If I hadn't... Okay, so we need the other ones then. And it was all over. If I could control my jumps, then what good... If I couldn't control my jumps, then what good were they? Sigma, just let it go. Our time's up. Before... Well, before it ends, I wanted to tell you thanks. You knew we were about to die. But you still stuck with me. <laughs> a lot of people wouldn't have done that. You're a good person. 
There's one more thing. I'm glad I met you. The moment I saw you, you seemed familiar. Sure anyway, they are. thanks. Oh, fine. Okay, so it looks like our time's almost up. Hopefully, the others will make it. There isn't much hope for us, though. I think this is. Don't you dare say goodbye. What? Meet again somewhere, some when. Some, some when. What? What did he say? I guarantee it. We can jump through parallel worlds. We can change history. You see? This won't end here. I won't let it. This is just the beginning. Sigma. Suddenly I felt Phi's face against my chest. Okay. Oh, sorry, I didn't read it. Suddenly, I, feel, I guess I put my arms around her and held tight. Then, all right, I have my notepad ready, so I can have I can put the codes in for the bombs. Everything went dark. When I came to, I was floating in a field of nothingness. Okay. Game over for now. We have to come back to this one. That was actually a really close one. We were close. I just, I wish I knew I needed to input the shit by myself. Alright. Let's go to... You don't have bomb information. No. Uh, this is K is a two-headed lion. Bomb number zero, deactivation code. Okay. We're gonna jump here to get the deactivation code for bomb zero. Oh, holy father. My sacred beast, I am your... your... I don't care. God damn it! Didn't... It's not gonna do you any good, though. I completed my... What are you gonna do? Not your problem. Otherwise... Fine. No skin off my password for the zero bomb is L X A Q N S G D Q. Alex. Okay, hold on. L X A L X A Q N S Q N S G D Q. Okay, this was the zero bomb. A Q N S G D Q. Okay. Okay. Not the log. Not that. Okay. Uh, bomb number one deactivation code. Okay, I said it already. Okay, bomb one is B B Q Z R G J D X R B Q Z R G J D X R. That was bomb one. Password is on number the number one bomb is yes. Okay. Deactivation. 
<laughs> Fine. Not gonna. D I'll tell you. You only get this is the deactivate. Ready? L X Q L H C N M R L H C X Q L H C N M R. Okay. Okay, we need we need the deactivation code for two. Uh how do we stop five? I think we have to go with this one. Um, because yeah, we're here and we only need the deactivation code for two, so let's go here and find out. And suddenly the world shifted, but damn, where did she go? Crew quarters. For just an instant, I was somewhere else entirely. My mind reeled, and then, just as I'd begun to adjust, it was gone. It was gone, as if nothing had happened. What? What was that? It was the same sensation I'd felt when I saw the vision of the bombs exploding. Had it been a premonition? This is bad. I need to find Alice now. But where could she be? And damn it, Alice, where are you? So she could either be in the crew quarters or, um, or, uh, the bee garden, because those were the only time, the only places her body was found. But suicide body was, well, she passed out in the, in the garden. Suicide body was always crew quarters. I set off at a dead run. straight for the, the door to the number two room. Oh, it should be in here. I saw it and threw it open the door. Alice, so you were here. As I spoke, her eyes turned toward mine, but I didn't get the feeling that they were looking at me. Her skin was pale and sickly, and one of her hands held the scalpel like I'd caught her in the middle of something. What are you doing here? Okay, I'm just here to help you. Help me? What do you mean? Just let go of that scalpel. No, I need it to get this bracelet off. Huh? Remember what Zero Junior told us? The bracelet comes off when your heart stops. So I just have to... Stop! Before I even finished the word, I was running. I grabbed both her arms and wrenched them back, pulling the blade away from her chest. No! Let me go! I have to do this! I can't take it anymore! This whole thing is like a nightmare I can't wake up from! The only way I'm going to get out of here is to die! Knock it off! With a grunt, I tore the scalpel from her hands. Pan pan. <laughs> it was a second before I felt a burning pain in my left hand. I had apparently cut myself getting the damn thing away from her. Very quickly I progressed it progressed from a dull throbbing to a hot line of pain across my palm. I clenched my teeth and squeezed my hand tight. I was so focused on my pain that I barely heard Alice collapse. She didn't respond when I shook her. Hey, are you alright? Alice, say something. 
There was a moment of terror before I realized she was still breathing. I didn't know why, but it seemed she'd only passed out. Shit, what am I supposed to do now? Oh man. Maybe the infirmary? It's got all those medical things. <laughs> Buoyed by adrenaline, I heft Alice's body and took off toward the infirmary. Is anyone still in here? All right, please pay attention, everyone. You need to hear this. Okay. She has. She has it too. Everything's coming up, Sigma, huh? Huh? She shouldn't have to be all by herself. Uh. What a lucky, lucky man you are. What? Why? You two are going to be playing against Clover. If she doesn't vote, then she'll default to ally. That means if she stays here, the two of you are going to be sitting pretty. Especially you, Sigma. After all, you've got six BP right now. Mm -hmm. Are you saying I'm going to choose If you do, to you'll get what you need to escape. You bastard. There's no way I'd do that. Is that so? Yes, it is so. For one, I'm not the only one making this decision. Luna's my partner, and she'll be in the AV room with me. You really think she'd just stand by and let me do something like that? Back me up here, Luna. Um, well, actually, I was planning to let you make the decision. See? Told you. You can lie to us if you want, but you can't lie to yourself. Shut up! Um... What? If I might make a suggestion, what if Sigma and Luna both remained here? Should all three of you abstain, then you would all be guaranteed to ally, correct? Nope, doesn't work like that. Why not? Here, take a look at this. I pulled the scrap of paper we'd found out of my pocket. Huh? What's this? We found it when we went to the archives. There wasn't anything like this in the pantry. Nothing in the garden, either. Hmm. I guess they only put in, put one in the archives. Whatever. I'll just read it for you. Get it? The whole team can't That means abstain. either Dio or Tenmyoji's going to have to vote then. And they're playing against Alice. Oh. I guess playing against is a little generous. So Alice is guaranteed to vote ally, which means that if Dio picks Betray... Now knock it off. You trying to get back at me for what I said earlier? No way am I gonna choose Betray. Lies. You do know her BP's at one, right? Yes. What do you think would happen to her if I did that? We know. Anyone I wouldn't put it past you. What? Cool it, boys. Don't worry. I'm gonna be in that room, too. I'd planned to stay here with Quark, just to make sure he was safe. But it doesn't look like I'm gonna have that luxury. I can't trust Dio to make a decision for all three of us. That means we're gonna be sharing a room, bucko. I've got my eye on you. Happy now, Sigma. Yeah, thanks. That's a relief. Exactly. Oh, man. Everybody's against me. Whatever shall I do? Can't be too careful. I wouldn't want to see Alice killed by an unfortunate accident. What do you mean, accident? Just like you were when you were born. Oh. Tenmyoji, before we went into the CDs, you told Alice there was something you wanted to tell her. Um, what was it? Huh? Oh, that, uh... Well, look, it wasn't important. Just forget about it. Five minutes remain. Time's running out, people. Clover and I will stay here and keep an eye on Alice and Quark. Everyone else needs to go. What? You're staying too? Yeah. Something does happen. Clover might need a hand. Aren't you a solo? You're playing against K and Quark, but with Quark, Alpha means K would get to decide this whole round. Are you saying that you trust me? Yes. Even though I have six BP? Yes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Are you nuts? What happens when he gets nine BP? I'm not worried. K won't betray me. How can you know that? I just know, I guess. You just know? What the fuck is wrong with you? He's just mad because no one trusts him. Has something happened between Fly and K while they were out exploring? I understand. I can hardly betray trust like that, can I? I will vote for our you team. You can definitely betray it. 
Good. We're counting on you. <sighs> I've had enough of this bull. Four minutes remain until Amadex game. Come on, we need to. <laughs> All right, take care of those two, okay? Of course. We promise. Without we were off. We have one last quick nod to fly and clover before heading back to the, to the warehouse at a dead run. The champagne isn't that great. I thought it would be because it's Moscato, which is my favorite wine. But it's not that great. Everybody ready? I'm gonna open my AV game. Although well, I guess that doesn't really matter. Do you already opened one earlier? Then only you and I remain. Right. Okay. Let's go. Alright, now the choice is do I choose ally or betray? Because I think I can choose either one, yeah? Two more AV gates slid open. Yeah. I'm gonna betray first. Oh, excuse me, because I can. Oh, wait, no, I didn't read it. I didn't read it. I didn't read it. I skipped it on accident. Ugh. Let me see. Two minutes. Remain. Shush. Until we all shared one last look uh, at each other before ducking into our respective rooms. What are you going to do? I mean, how are you going to vote? No question. If Clover isn't voting, then she's defaulting to ally. Betraying someone who isn't even playing Harley seems fair. Of course, fair. I think so too. I'm just glad to hear you say it. That's why I'm gonna hit betray. As my face broke into a warm, happy smile. Not to be sappy, but it was like a ray of sunshine on a cloudy day. I grinned back at her before I knew what I was doing. For a minute, the nunnery game didn't seem so scary. Sigma, what's wrong with your hand? Huh? There's something white on it. White? There's what? We're not human. What the hell is this? For the first time since I'd found Alice in the crew quarters, I looked down at my hand. Across the palm was some sort of strange white liquid. It's like we're from aliens! We're, we're an android! For a moment, I thought I'd somehow touched some white paint or something similar. But the truth was far stranger. The liquid was coming from my hand. Oh my god! Cause you know... <gasps> it was coming from the cut I gave myself when I grabbed the scalpel from Alice. Cause you remember, you remember... Oh, th uh, it's, 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 it's in the archive, it's in our archive. Um, it's, I think it's secret. Quantic, uh... Parasol number nine door on lunar eclipse. Uh, Adam, is it, is it this? No. Uh, so this cat from. The Turing test. Yes, from Alan Turing. It's a, it. The test has three participants: a human judge, a human subject, and a machine. The judge engages in conversation with the human and the machine, and if the judge cannot determine who is the machine and who is the human, the machine is considered to have passed the Turing test. When Phi mentions that perhaps she and her companions have been captured to perform a test, she is referring to the Turing test. Yes, that makes that makes so much sense. We we are the AI. We are the computer. We are in a test to figure out if they can find out if we're human. You can't tell that we're not human. So we're we're a golem. We're a golem. But with skin. Cause they, they had said that they, they, they had is it is it is it this one? Um oh. 
Uh, uh, one of these said like the that the the golems in the in the golem area were just they were they were AI, but they were skinless. They needed skin, and they would have been fine. And I think that's what we are. We are a golem. Oh my god. Oh my god, my mind is just explosion. But why? Why does it look like I came with my hand? Why where was the blood? I felt a very odd sort of fear begin to wrap its hand around my throat. Quickly I held my palm against my chest. I shouldn't have let Luna see that. Are you alright? Yeah, it's nothing. I went to the pantry while I was looking for Alice. There was some milk and I spilled it. It sounded even stupider as I said it. You should have said like some water flower mixture. Really? Yeah. But. Just shut up. It's fine, alright? I'm fine. Leave me alone. I regretted the words the moment they were out of my mouth. Something was wrong, very wrong, and my head was spinning. Sigma! Oh man. I'm so sorry. I just. It's. Just don't worry about it, okay? 30 seconds remain until polling closes. There was no time left. I had to vote. I turned and faced the machine. I took a few deep breaths, but the chaos in my mind refused to calm itself. Calm down, just calm down. You need to think about the AB game right now. Just forget about your hand. For forget about the cum in your hand. I was like kidding? There was no way I could forget about something like that. I'm not human. Ten seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. one. Betray. Round two of the Ambidex game. Has been completed. Results. Thank you, Ambidex Gates. Now. Oop, oop, no, 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 no. Lynn and I stepped out of the AB room. I could see the others filing out of the rooms as we did. Why? I didn't have an answer for her. All I could think about was that white liquid. What was it? Some kind of discharge? Blood? No. It couldn't be blood. Blood wasn't white. It was insane. I was lost in thought when Luna spoke. Um... I'm going to the infirmary. Huh? Don't you want to see the results? Why? I already know what they're going to be. Her usually warm personality seemed to have gone cold. Whether it was because I chose a betrayer or because she noticed that something was wrong with my body, I couldn't say. Excuse me. With that, she was gone. I turned back to the projection, with heavy steps I headed toward K, Dio, and Temyoji. Results from round, please direct your attention. It's such a sausage fest. Mm-hmm. Ally, ally. <laughs> Everyone allied except for me! Oof. 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 Points have. Please check your. What the hell? Sigma has 9 BP? See? I told you! The bastard's finally showing his true colors! 
What the hell are you doing? Clover isn't even voting. I have misjudged you. I never thought you would do something so <laughs> cowardly. Oh my god, calm the fuck down, guys. I just needed to see this ending. There was nothing I could say, there was nothing I could do. I chose a betray out of my own volition. But had I really? Had I really pressed the button for my own free will? The more I thought about it, the more I felt as if some other force had guided my hand to the button. I, a mere robot, was being guided by someone else. Perhaps it had been fear. I was scared by the white fluid that had appeared on my palm. Maybe that had been the tipping point, and I decided that I had to escape as soon as possible. Damn, the consequences. If I got out, then the nightmare would be over. That's all it was, right? A nightmare? I couldn't be real. It couldn't be real. White blood was insane. Impossible. There are white blood cells, but they aren't actually white. They're quite red. That was when I looked up and saw the other staring at my hand. Shit. I quickly put my hand behind my back, but it was already too late. They moved toward me like wolves closing in for the kill. S Sigma? What was that? He was cut. It must have been blood. But why was it white? Isn't that obvious? He's not human. Not human? No! What are you saying? Of course I'm human! I'm 100% human! Then explain that white stuff. I can't. I swear to god I have no idea what it is. You have to believe I'm me. I'm afraid you're not being very convincing. You're the one to talk. We can't even see you. You could be a robot. Maybe that's not even a suit. That's just you. Robot you. No. That seems extremely unlikely. However bad my amnesia might be, I am quite sure of my humanity. I am, without a doubt, not a robot. They probably just programmed you to think that. Alright. It's pretty obvious this guy's dangerous and probably unhinged. We should take him down. Why am I unhinged? What? <sighs> Looks like there's no other way. Hold now the that he's phone. Got 9 BP from stabbing Clover in the back. There's a good chance he'll try and get out of here by himself. Hold the phone. Wait a minute. Hold on a minute. Let's not do anything rash. <laughs> I didn't have a choice. I spun around and ran for the number nine door. No. I don't think so. Shit. Let go. Let go of me. I was no match for all three of them. Before I could take two steps, I was on the floor pinned. The desperation was only getting stronger, however, and I writhed and twisted in a futile attempt to get free. God damn it! You have to let me go! This is all some kind of mistake! A misunderstanding. It's. it's a conspiracy! Huh. So, there's a conspiracy to turn your blood white? You're a funny guy. Stop trying to get away! It's over! Shit. Get off me! Let me go! If you won't calm down, then you leave me no choice. I'd hoped we could avoid this. Try not to struggle too much. No. Tone. Ugh. Uh. What happened? Did I get choked out? The first thing I felt when I woke up was the hard pain of a bruise all the way across my neck. Yep. Okay, must have suffocated me. My head felt like it had been stuffed with cotton, and I had to put out a hand to steady myself as I stood up. Where am I? Is this the infirmary? How long had I been out? My foot bumped into something and I looked down to see the injection gun. The glass vial laid with soap oil was still attached to it. The anesthetic. After choking me, they'd made sure I wasn't getting up in, an, in the near future. The man, I could have been asleep for a long time. Where is everyone? I glanced around the room. He 
was empty except for me. It took me a moment to realize what was especially odd about that. You and Quark and Alice had disappeared. What the hell's going on? That was when I noticed it. Quark and Alice weren't the only things that had disappeared. Two other things, two other very important things were also gone. My bracelet and my left hand. What? For a long moment I just stared dumbstruck. What I was seeing couldn't possibly be real. But there it was, a smooth cross section of my arm where a hand should have been. A thick white liquid dripped slowly from the stump. What is this? Oh my oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Yeah, I'm not gonna scream. The scream clawed its way out of my body, taking my mind with it. Then after that, nothing. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Alright, I'll choose ally, alright? I don't need my arm ripped off. Goodness gracious. <laughs> Fiends. But like we're not dealing with him, we're just gonna take the arm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. How do they know it was a cut anyway? Like it's covered in white. There's no way they would have been able to know it was supposed to be blood. Honestly, it just looks like jizz. But who am I to say such a thing? I would never. <gasps> I did it. Lynn and I stepped out of the AB room. I could see the others filing out of their rooms as we did. So you chose Ally after all? Yeah. Yeah, I did. To be honest, the AB game was the last thing on my mind. As chaotic as my thoughts were, they all centered on one thing. The mysterious white liquid. Do you want to go see the results? Sure. Luna nodded and walked off toward the projection, but I couldn't move. I glanced around to make sure no one was watching and opened my hand. The liquid didn't seem to have clotted or run out since it was still oozing thickly out of the slit in my hand. What in the hell is this? I couldn't, it couldn't be blood, could it? No, that was impossible. No matter how many white blood cells clumped together, you'd never get anything that looked like that. And I'd never seen my blood do this before. In 22 years of life, I'd seen my body bleed many times. Scraped knees as a kid, accidental nicks with a knife as an adult. But every single time I bled red, like any other human being. So why was it this time? It was white. What the hell is happening to me? Hey, Sigma, what are you doing? Get the hell over here. They're gonna show the results. Yeah, right. On my way! I did my best to compose myself and headed over to join the others. It's time to start sticking hands in your pockets. Results from Rockley's. Ah, Luna, you're there this time. Ally, ally. Ally, ally. Ally, ally. On the board, everyone allied for the first time. We had one where everyone betrayed, and then one where everyone allied. Beautiful. Points have been assigned or subtracted accordingly. Everyone is actually very close to 
um, leaving except for Tenyoji and Alice. Please check your bracelet to see your update. This is incredible! Look, everyone voted ally! Yeah. You did just like you promised, Kay! This is... Uh, the one time we betrayed, which was we betrayed Alice. And then, uh, we allied. Okay. How could I choose betray after what Phi said to me? Tenmyoji and Dio voted ally too. Of course. Because of Tenmyoji. If we hadn't, Alice would have died. Yeah, well, that's about it, I guess. <laughs> we should thank the both of you as well. I'm happy to see you also chose ally. Oh, I didn't have anything to do with it. That was all Sigma. And thank you very much, Sigma. Sigma? Sigma, are you alright? Come on, what's wrong? Just say something. Huh? Oh yeah, um... Looks like we all allied. That's great. Sigma, what the hell's wrong with you? Yeah, you've been acting a little out of it ever since we came out of the A-B rooms. What happened? You make it pass at Luna and get shot down? <laughs> no, nothing like that. Hey man, it was a joke. You remember what that is? A joke? You're in pretty bad shape, huh? Before Dio could continue, the heavy metal rumbling of the door shutting echoed through out the warehouse. The Ambidex get round star key. There is the amb We can open the gates as many times as we want to, then that we can play the A B game as many times as we like, right? Mm-hmm. Hey, Zero Junior said something about this, didn't he? As soon as the gates close, your colors appear in solo as Yeah. Oh yeah. Right. Sorry to be a pain. I want to see what all your colors in the sign. Well, as an assignment, so I would not have held their arms towards him. Said at them, terrified to follow suit, but certain that refusing would only draw more suspicion, so I held my arm out. Hand tightened into a white knuckled fist to hide the cut. When the eyes landed on my hand, my heart skipped a beat. Huh. So Dio and Kay are a yellow pair. Luna and I are both pairs, but our colors are different. Right. You're a cyan, and I'm magenta. That makes Sigma the only solo, huh? A red solo. So what are the four we left in the infirmary? Luna and I are pairs, so two of them are our partners. That means the other two are solos. Although, I guess we don't know what colors they are. They're probably green and blue. Why is that? Didn't you see them? There are a bunch of white doors in the Floor B warehouse. Mm -hmm. They have to be the next set of chromatic doors. Ah, oh, yes. Fi and I saw them as well. Mm-hmm. On our way back from the garden with the unconscious Quark. And there they were. And there they were. Each one had a box just like the doors on floor A. Given that, I don't see how there can be any question. Those white doors are our next set of chromatic doors. I think that our bracelet combinations will have to add up to white in order to open the secondary doors. The pairs are cyan, magenta, and yellow. You see? Yeah. If we need to make white, then the other three colors would have to be red, green, and blue. Right. Good. Now that we want to check out the Oh, Shiza. Sorry. Now that we got that figured out, I'm heading back to the infirmary for a bit. I want to check out the fucking Alice. I shall accompany you then. Might as well go with you, I guess. No real reason to hang out here. Well, what will you two do? I... I need to talk to Sigma about something. About what? Something. Her usual pleasant expression has been replaced with something much more sullen. She must have noticed that there was something wrong with me. That was what she wanted to talk about. I was sure of it. Okay, fine. I managed to make my voice sound almost relaxed. Whoa, hold on. A private talk? What are you guys plotting? We're not plotting anything. I promise. It's nothing. <laughs> fine, whatever. See if I care. Mm -hmm. You do care. 
Dio tossed his head with a mixture of arrogance and feigned disinterest and marched out the yellow door. Temyoji and Kei quickly followed. In only moments, all three had disappeared. Alright, Luna. Let's hear it. So, uh, what was it that you wanted to talk about? I was almost certain I knew, but there was always hope. I did my best to act as if I was genuinely confused. Oh, um, I don't really like this room. Could we go somewhere else? Um, okay. Good. I found somewhere nice when I was looking for Alice earlier. The garden? As strange as her request was, I had no reason to object. Kept my mouth shut and followed Luna as she headed off. I was right! <laughs> the garden. You know this place? Yes, well, sort of. Came here once when I was looking for Alice. Oh, I see. So, uh, what brings you here? Isn't this nice? This is the only place in the whole facility with anything green. I feel kind of silly saying it, but it makes me think of the great outdoors. And uh, that's the point. I think it's the perfect place for a serious conversation. Being surrounded by nature makes me feel calmer. Happy. Oh. Oh, there's a bench over there. Would you like to sit down with me? She sat down softly and gently, and I lowered myself down next to her. Oh, we finally get to see the profile of her face. Her hair is so weird. So what did you want to talk to me about? Instead of answering, Luna lifted the tiny birdcage pendant she wore into the palm of her hand. This must be Luna's ending, then. She was silent for a moment and then began to talk. Can I tell you something? This yeah. is actually a music box. Oh yeah, we got paper that said that. Really? Yes. She twisted the key on the bottom and made it and it made an almost imperceptible whining noise. When she released it, soft, clear notes drifted out. It's a nice song. Why'd you bring a, bring that up? Because for? I wanted you to know, I guess. I wanted you to know more about me. Maybe it's because I'm so shy, but I don't really have any friends. Or even any acquaintances, really. Or technically all your acquaintance. So I've sort of always been alone. Well, that's sad. It was really hard. I felt so lonely a lot of the time. And it, Sorry. It hurt. It felt like I was just kind of going to collapse from the inside out. That's why she tries. She chooses an ally every single time because she's trying to make friends. That was when I got this friends. music box. Someone very important mm. gave oh, it to me. me. They didn't say anything, but I felt like there was an unspoken message behind it. Luna, happiness is closer than you think. Do you know Major Link's the Bluebird? <coughs> No. Oh, yeah? Well, I know the gist of it. I sure. I think it starts on Christmas Eve with this brother and sister named Title and Mytel get asked to find a bluebird by this old woman and they travel into the dream world. Tiltil and Mytel. Or well, something. Anyway, supposedly if you can catch this bird, then you can make a wish come true. So they visit all these different places, but they can't find it. Eventually they give up and go home, but when they wake up, there it is. The bird is in a birdcage in their hut. That's right. It's a well-known story, and it teaches a simple lesson. Yeah, like you said, happiness is closer than you think. I feel like that's right. not the lesson. It got me thinking. Maybe the person who gave me this music box was trying to tell me just that. I don't know if that's true. Maybe all of this is just in my head, but I really felt like that was what they'd meant. It was so... kind. I kept it with me all the time, like a kind of good luck charm. But... But? One day I realized something. Mm -hmm. There was another meaning to the bluebird. 
Mm -hmm. In Major Link's original story, it doesn't end with them waking up. There's more? Yes. When Tiltil and Mittel try to feed the bird, it leaves the cage and flies away. And then the story ends. <coughs> Whoa. What about the moral then? It changes. Now the message is that just when you think you found happiness, you lose it again. Well, that's depressing. I thought about that for a while, but in the end, it didn't change how I felt. I don't know what they intended it to mean when they gave it to me, but I decided how I was going to look at it. It means that happiness is something you should always be looking for, and it's only when you're pursuing happiness that you're truly happy. Or you're a caged bird waiting to be set free. It's also a thought. You know, Sigma, I think you might be Tiltil. What? You know, the boy who the old lady asked to find the bluebird on Christmas Eve. <coughs> what are you trying to say? You're trying to find your hap- well, I'm trying to find my happiness. Can I ask you something? Sure. Where did you find Alice? Um... What is that? Seriously, what does that have Just to do with answer. anything? Where in did you find Alice? The cruise quarters. In the crew quarters. In the room two in the crew quarters. Where were you before that? I was in the lounge. That was after we split up to go look for Alice. The first place I went was the lounge. So you went from the lounge to the crew quarters, where mm -hmm. you found Alice. Yeah. And then you rushed her to the infirmary, right? Yes. Okay, tell me this then. How did you How know, do you about, know about the garden? Yep. <laughs> Just now, you said you'd come here when you were looking for Alice. Didn't you? That doesn't make any sense. There wouldn't have been any time for you to visit the garden while you were looking for Alice. So tell me, Sigma, how do you know about this place? Well, um... I didn't know what to say, like... I couldn't even explain it to myself. Why had I told her I knew about the garden? Why had I told her I'd been there before? <laughs> Sigma, are you... Are you a robot? Have you always been here? Uh, what? See, it would make so much sense if you were. That would explain why you knew about the garden, and, and it would explain that cut on your left hand. Damn, so you did see it, huh? Yes. I've been told that robots these days have what's called artificial biological tissue, or ABT, on top of a metal skeleton. It makes them look almost exactly like a human. And ABT uses this white liquid instead of blood. For some reason, when Luna had called me a robot, it hadn't really phased me. Maybe because it was just so out there. It didn't sound like a real possibility. It sounded more like a theory to get from someone in a nut house. Still, I was still oozing white liquid. Is that really a robot? No, that was impossible. I needed to stop doing that. Questioning myself so much was giving me heart palpitations. Luna, aren't you a little scared? Scared? Why would I be scared? Well, let's say I am a robot. That means there's a pretty good chance you're as pulling my strings. That would make me your enemy. Oh, I guess so. Well, even if you were, I wouldn't be scared. Why not? Hmm. Maybe because you're a robot. Have you huh? ever heard of the three laws of robotics? No. They were a set of rules created by the science fiction author Isaac Asimov that he used in several of his stories. Do we have that? Uh, I'm gonna just go all the way to the end because I think uh, <coughs> Isaac Asimov. So I remember that being the- here we go. 
Isaac Asimov, a robot may not injure a human being or through inaction allow a human being to come to harm. The robot must obey the orders given to it by humans. Yes, yes, yes. And then the zero law, a robot may not harm humanity or by inaction allow humanity to come to harm. Then wouldn't Phi also be a robot? <clears throat> yeah. Must obey any orders given to it by a human being, except for it conflicts with law, the first law. Must protect its own existence as long as such protection does not conflict with first or second laws. <laughs> yeah, I've heard those before. That's just an ideal, though. You could work toward that, but I don't think you could ever actually achieve it. I mean, depending on how you program them, robots could do pretty much whatever they wanted yes, to. Yes, you're right, but I believe in them. In you, however you're programmed, I don't think you'd break any of the three laws. A robot without the three laws is just a bunch of metal and plastic. That's not you. You have a heart. You're a good person. It's in your eyes. How could you tell? My eyes are fake. Well, I guess I'm just kind of assuming you're a robot. There's still a chance you're not. Yeah, I could just have a prosthetic arm. We should run some tests. Yes. Tests? Um, how? Well, the arm should be able to tell us. Yep. Oh yeah, that thing in the infirmary. There's a lot of people in the infirmary right now, though. Heard a crunch of dried leaves behind us. But when I turned, there was nothing. Who is it? Is... is someone there? Just me. Bye. Sorry, but can you guys come over here? I need you to see something. Moon and I looked at one another, shrugged, and stepped into the bushes. It must be a bomb. Welcome. What? How long have you been here? I just got here a little while ago. Did you... hear what we were saying? No. Were you talking about something you didn't want me to know about? Yes. Whatever. Just have a look at this. I followed the line of her finger. Yep. Shit, this this is an antimatter bomb. Exactly. I'm pretty sure someone didn't move it here from the crew quarters. In fact, I'm pretty sure it's an entirely different bomb. Look at the number on the side. There's one. The other one. And the says one in three. the crew quarters said then that must mean Shit, then there's no question, huh? I've got more good news. Just think about the numbers for a moment. You're saying there's a two-bomb out there somewhere? I can't be sure, but it does seem pretty likely. Uh -huh. Damn it. That means we're dealing with a combined explosive power equal to three times, three tons of TNT. Yeah. Who planted them? Was it you guys? I mean, you've been in here quite a while. Hey, don't give me that. You're way more suspicious than we are. What were you doing in the bushes anyway? Well, uh, I was taking a walk. That's a lie. <laughs> taking a walk? You really think I'm gonna buy that? Fine. You got me. I heard you two were off talking in secret. So I got curious and went back to the Floor A warehouse. Of course you weren't there. That seemed pretty suspicious to me, so I headed here. And just as I'd suspected, there you were, talking on the bench. I snuck up from behind so you wouldn't notice me. Then, just as I was getting close enough to hear, I found the bomb. So, believe me now? Yeah. So who planted the bomb? Honestly? It could have been any one of us. Anybody could have come here while we were all looking for Alice. Hold on. She's not wrong. I'm trying to see... If... We got any more, like, bomb information? Because I didn't actually check. Hmm. 
I need to get the code for the two-headed lion from here. Phone number one, deactivation code. Um, then bomb number three, deactivation code. Oops. Oh, this is where we are right now. Ah, uh, stop it. Deactivate bomb number three, and it's probably two, one, and zero, and whatever else is happening over here. And zero, yeah. Okay. So I only have I only only have this one and this one and then this one. Oh, and of course this side. So I think Maybe the deactivation code might be over here somewhere, or on one of these. But I think it's on the far left side. You need to tell everyone about this then. Yeah, you're right. Let's head back to the infirmary. Oh, excuse me. Everyone else was already there when we arrived. Over in Tenyoji. K and Dio. And of course, Alice and Quark. Both of them sleeping peacefully. Never think to look at them that they'd be completely insane. It's not so long ago. Alright, everybody. Listen up. I told them how we'd found the number one bomb in the garden. Now, judging by the numbering in, on the two bombs we found so far, there's probably a number two bomb out there somewhere. Two. Oh, this is bad. What are we going to do? Well, I think Alice mentioned something. There should be an emergency deactivation password. If you enter that password, the device should, well, deactivate. You see it right here. There's a port. Yes. If we can find the password input device. We just connected here. Then we can enter the password. So if we have the password, we can deactivate them? Yes. Whoa, whoa, hold on a second. That's great and all, but we need that password input device she was talking about. Without that, we're still boned even if we did have the password. Yeah. That's why I want all of you to let me search you. I beg your pardon? You heard me. Chances are whoever planted those bombs is in this room. There's also a good chance they've also got the device we need to deactivate the bombs. So you're planning to search us for it? Yes. Exactly. But... No buts. If you refuse, then I'll assume it's because you've got it and you planted the bombs. Unless you want that, I suggest you cooperate. Clear? Good. Now who's going to be first? Hmm? I have volunteers tribute. Huh? You only need to search one person. What? Why? Because I figured out who did it. I I know who did it. The words were out of my mouth before I even realized I was, what I was saying. How can you... There's no way. I 
I read Fly's gaze and nodded, then turned away. I know who set the bombs. That person. I wasn't expecting another bomb slide on this one. So I guess I was wrong. You, Dio! Yep, that person is you, Dio. Come on, what is this? Are you high? Well, we're about to find out. Sorry, Kay, but could you hold him down? No. Ah! Oh! How do you know? I didn't know I could skip. <laughs> okay, okay. I'll give you one since I'm such a swell guy. Oh, 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 oh. Right, none of us know, but there's someone who does, isn't there? The password for bomb number two is. Yes! Yes! Hold on, hold on, Dio. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. I gotta pull it back up. I gotta pull it back up. Give me, give me two seconds. Little more than two seconds. Hold on, hold on. All done. Bomb number two. Okay. EQD, DYR, NTK. EQD, DYR, NTK. EQD, DYR, NTK. I have all the bombs. Bomb number two. That means we can jump. But we haven't found that one yet. Oh? Oh. Not my well, fault. Well, my mistake. <laughs> Must have slipped my mind. Well, there's nothing you could do anyway. You don't have the input device. Really, it'll be much easier if you all just give up. Where's the input device? Oh, gosh. I wonder. Where did you put the number two bomb? Shoot, you know, I... I just can't remember. Son of a bitch. Anyway, I think it's time for me to be moving on. Moving on? To where? What, I have to explain everything? To the next world, of course. No. Wait. I threw myself toward you and wrapped my hand around his wrist, slamming it to the floor. He struggled, but I put all my weight on it and kept his arm pinned. Shit! Let go of me, goddammit! Get off of me! Let me go! He continued to struggle, but I wasn't going to let him go. I shifted my weight to free one of his hands and started trying to pry his open. Hey! Hey! I'm not fucking around, alright? Let go of my goddamn arm! But then the others had run over and piled onto Dio along with me. Even then, he refused to stop. With increasing desperation, Okay, yeah. How much time do we have left? About 20 minutes or so, I think. And how much time until the white doors open? 20 minutes. Same. Wait. So, what do we do? About 20 minutes or so, yeah. Hmm. We put in those passwords and stop the we bombs. We searched Dio. But he doesn't have anything that might be the input device. Hmm. Only one thing to do then. And that is? We split up and find it. Unless any of you have any... I have another suggestion. <coughs> A dismal silence filled the room. Even though no one spoke, I could see despair on every face. Alright. No point sitting around until those things actually go off. We've still got a chance. Sigma, you come with me. We're going to have to go look at the number three bomb. See if the timer really has started or not. All the rest of right. you, listen up. I want you to take Alice, Quark, and Dio to the Floor B warehouse. What? Why there? Just listen. Worst case scenario. We'll open the white doors and go through them to... wherever they go. Maybe we'll get lucky. Understood. We will take them to the Floor B warehouse. Once we've done so... We will begin to search for the input device in the number two bomb. Yes. Good. Thank. Okay, we don't have much time left. Now get moving. Sigma, you're with me. Spy turned without waiting and headed for the door. It's 
only nine. So I could blink she was gone. Before I could blink she was gone. I gave everyone from your quick thumbs up and thoughtful after her. Alright. <clears throat> I got my codes for the bombs. You're the bomb. No, you're the bomb. We're at the three bomb. Lights flashing. I guess the countdown has started. So, what are we going to do? Without a way to enter the passwords, we're screwed. Yeah. Right. We'll just have to split up and look for it. I'll look around here. You go check somewhere else. Okay. If we get to T minus five minutes, then we'll meet back in the floor B warehouse. Got it? Got it. I wasn't sure what to say. If we hadn't found it by then, is there really any point in meeting up again? What's with that look? Don't worry. We'll figure it out, I promise. You know what they say. Swimsuits never quit. What? No, that's not- that's not a thing. That doesn't make any sense. Besides, what the hell are you cracking jokes I'm right just, now? I'm just, um... Trying to show you that life is still worth living. What is- what is that pose? After all, if you quit now, there goes any possibility of you ever seeing me in a swimsuit. What the hell? Oh, I see. Well, I admit I am a bit curious. All right. Looks like we're on the same page. They get moving. We don't have time to stand around. Fine. Be careful, all right. I checked the time on my bracelet as I headed out of the crew quarters in the and into the hallway. Where did we find a last time? It wasn't good news. Oof. 15 minutes. Damn, yeah, only 15 minutes. I need to hurry. I broke into a run. Before I found myself, before long I found myself in the infirmary, all too often what you're looking for is right in front of you. I spent a lot of time in the infirmary, so it seemed kind of fitting somehow. I might have been there all along. My video had dropped it there recently. There was no way to know. Anyway, I had to start looking somewhere. Okay. <laughs> Luna, you're still here? Yes. The others are taking the people who are asleep to the white doors. I chose to stay here. I thought you might come back. Why? To get because checked by Adam. Adam is here. I thought you might want to use it. Isn't that why you're here? What? I mean, yeah, I want to know what's going on with me, but... It's driving me nuts, but like, hell, I feel sick. This isn't the time for that. Being a robot isn't going to mean a lot if I die anyway. Oh, why did you come here then? Isn't that obvious? I'm trying to find that input thing so we can turn off the bombs. Really? Yes. Why would I lie? I see. I seem to have made a mistake. I knew you couldn't use the atom without me. So I stayed behind because I thought I might be able to help. I guess I shouldn't have done that. I'm sorry. Goodbye. She turned and headed towards the exit. No, now I'm curious! Wait. I couldn't just let her leave like that. Right? I sighed. Let's just do it real quick. How long would it take? Not more than five minutes or so. We only got a 15. You sure? Only five? Yes. Okay, let's do it. Analyze my body. Yes! My curiosity! I lay down on the table. Luna picked up the atom scanner and began to run it across me slowly and methodically. In a few minutes, she was finished. That's it. You can get up now. I sat up and hopped up, hopped off the table. The screen was already starting to show my results. So, uh, what does it say? My eyes were glued to her face, looking for any sign of what the answer might be. 
She studied the readout and for several long seconds before replying. Well? Well? It says you're not a robot. Ah. Uh, you're human. Thank God. <clears throat> I let out a breath I hadn't realized I'd been holding. My relief didn't last long, but, but my arm. Your body isn't entirely human. Okay. What? You're part machine. Okay. Yeah, what are you saying? Look here. The structure of the bones in your arms isn't anything close to human. So my arms are not human. My body is human, but my arms are not. They're made out of a titanium alloy. On top of that skeleton is artificial biological tissue. It's also called ABT. Your arms are cybernetic. Just call me Jax. What, what does that mean? Cybernetic? It means a mechanical system that interfaces with a biological one. You see all these root-like things around the titanium bones? Mm -hmm. Those are artificial nerves. They're probably connected to your own nerves, which is how you can move your arms. I imagine they allow you to feel things through your arms, too. What? No, this is ridiculous. I think replacing my arms with robot ones is something I'd remember. And I know they weren't always like this. When I was a kid, I broke my arm and they took an x-ray of it. The doctor told me I had really thick bones and that I must have done something pretty insane to break them. When the hell did this happen? Why did somebody replace my arms? Who has amnesia now, sweetheart? Wait. Okay, let's say you're right, and my arms are cybernetic. Wouldn't that mean I don't have to worry about the bracelet going off? No. Unfortunately, you probably do still have to worry about that. Why? The cybernetic arms are made to function just like real arms, which means they interface with the rest of your body, which means that anything injected into them is spread to the rest of your body. How do you know that? I just do. That's not an answer. Yes, you're right. But not everything has an answer. There are some things you just can't explain. What? Don't you know how that feels? Yes. How did you know about the garden? Yeah. How did you know that Dio planted the bombs? Yeah. Uh, that's, uh, G14 classified. I'm sorry, Sigma. <laughs> I wish we could talk some more, but our time is up. Time? Press the button on my bracelet and felt my stomach drop. Five minutes. Oh, shit! <laughs> one minute? We've only got one minute left? Sigma, there's one last thing. I was given very specific instructions. Huh? I shuddered. Not because I was scared of what was about to happen, because I was scared of Luna. She was calm, unnaturally so, like a machine with a human face. We were about to die. How could she be so calm? Please pay attention. This is very important. This has to do with... Um... The, uh, director's office. I bet. You must be sure to remember it. Remember? I was about to die. How was I supposed to remember? Anything! Should you encounter a two-headed lion devouring the sun, remember, GTFDML016. 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 I'll put the the little things in between just in case. With this key, the first gate shall be open to you. Okay. First key. Um. With this key, the first gate 
shall be open to watch out. Okay. Now I gotta go back and get the second key. There you go. She knows zero. I hope we can meet again someday. I'll be waiting. I'll be waiting. What? Before she could answer. The world exploded into noise and light, and I disappeared along with it. When I came to, I was floating in a field of nothingness. So that has to have been Luna's ending. Oh. Oh! Sigma end! I was... I was wrong. It was my end. My bad. It honest, I honestly thought it was going to be the Luna's end. Okay. Oh, so that's an hour and a half. Okay. Um, um we're going to quickly... Nope, nope, nope. Quick. We go here. Okay. We're going to jump here. Sigma, in four years... I made a promise that you would heal. You understand this. You must, cannot forget. Remember, remember the 5th of September. Sorry. If you see a lion with two M I L K E V O L I K I V. O L I M I L B E V O L I. This will open the second gate. Open the second gate. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Thank you guys for joining me for this part. If you liked the video, like the video. Leave a comment down below about what you thought of the video. And if you liked what you saw, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and check out everything else that I've done. But for now, I'm going to end this video here. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. And we're going to see if we can do the director's office then. Maybe. I don't know. Bye!